I'd like to talk for a few minutes about everybody's favorite subject when it comes to chemistry, naming, or the more fancy term, nomenclature. And I want to put the challenge out to you to not lose a single point this year due to naming errors. There's two things. The first thing is you need to know how to name, which is simple. You probably already know that the non-metal plus non-metal or non-metal plus metal rules are very straightforward. The tough part is you have all these functional groups and you have to know what they are. And it's just a matter of, and, and also all the elements, but that's not so complicated. You just have to memorize this stuff. Now I've I've always resisted in life memorizing things or learning things that I thought were that I could look up that were not important to know, you know, commit to memory. But I just had to suck it up when it came to learning all these different things and memorizing them for chemistry because I was losing points for stupid reasons on these little questions of what's the name of this molecule or what's the formula that comes with this name, you know, or in a more drastic sense, some of the problems would, would give the constituents of a reaction as, you know, English language words, and then you'd have to decide what the formula was. And then I'd always, you know, well, I wouldn't always, but if I ever got that wrong, then the whole problem would be wrong. So there's really no alternative to just taking a half hour or an hour to memorize this stuff. But now the good news is I'm going to help you out by giving you a technique to memorize this. Now it turns out this technique works for anything you ever want to memorize in life, you know, foreign languages, vocabulary words, etc. It's very powerful and it's very simple. So the first thing is I have all the functional groups here that you'll ever need to know in introductory chemistry or for the AP chemistry exam. So let me just invite you to pause the video and then make your own list, just like I have a list here of, of functional groups. Now this comes out of my if you watched my video on how to study and get an A, this comes out of my own notes compiled from chemistry many years ago. So let me just get out of the way so you can copy this down first of all. Okay, so now the next step is once you have your list, you need a blank piece of paper and you can fold it in half the long way if you're eco-friendly you can fold it two times so that it's each column you, so it's not very wide and all you do is you take the paper and you cover up one of the columns and then you just you just start writing so we have your ammonium so then you write the formula for ammonium and if and then you it says acetate and you write the formula for acetate now if you can't remember acetate then you have to look, and then you write it, and then you go on and you do carbonate, bicarbonate, etc. So you go through the whole list, and if you have to look, then you look, and then you write it down. So there's something about writing it down that makes a difference with this technique. So you go through this whole column with your paper. Then you take the paper and you find a blank section, a blank column, and you do the same thing again. And maybe you'll get a little bit further before you get stuck and have to refer, you know, cheat and refer back to the paper to figure out what you're not learning. But the good news is by the time you've gone through this one piece of paper, you'll have committed all of this to memory. And that's something that you'll remember at least throughout the entire year, if not for your entire educational career. And it'll only take like a half hour. So I invite you to just do that right now and get the naming aspect of chemistry behind you and have a, a naming error-free year. Okay, please send all your questions to solve at midnighttutor.com.